something that has been talked about in the press. Uh, Eric Trout's video from University of Illinois, a talk he gave there where he actually showed a demo of Min Win, and I gave a Channel 9 interview last December with Charles where I talked a little bit about Min Win being this in, uh, engineering isolated subset of, the, of Windows, just the, the core, really it's what we call Dave Cutler's NT, Dave Cutler being the original architect of NT. It's uh, that piece of Windows where you can build it separately from the rest of Windows, you can boot it separately from the rest of Windows, test it separately from the rest of Windows. And it's not that you'd ever want to sell a product that's that because there's really the subset of the Windows API that it contains isn't necessarily useful enough to make even an embedded router on top of. But uh, it serves as the, the core building block that we're going to, you know, that you can layer other things on top of. Mm -hmm. I'm following the same yeah. <laughs> approach that we followed there. <laughs> okay. Uh, other than that, that, that kind of <coughs> componentization of, of the windows, I mean, what do, you, what do you see as an area where, you know, moving forward in the future with windows, where we're kind of limited now with, with our structure of things that we're, we're going to need to address in future versions? Of, of Windows? Um, we're limited now. Well, one of, uh, I don't know if it's so much a limitation, but one of the place, area, ways that I see Windows going, one of the directions I see Windows going in the next few years is it, and, and this really spans Windows and the enterprise management people over in the server division, which is uh, the dynamic data center idea. And not just dynamic data center, but dynamic clients. And this is the concept of taking Windows uh, that, uh, and treating a Windows image as just an image that you can service offline, you can examine offline, you can change offline, and having state-separated applications and state-separated Windows so that there's the Windows code, there's the Windows system state, there's the application code, the application state, the application user state, and you could take these things and compose them together on the fly so that your state, we, we'd have a, a container that just is your state. And to get you up and running, we just take this other container, which is the Windows system, take this other container, which is Windows specialized for the particular device that you're, you want to run on, take the application code, layer that on top of it, and then you throw your data on there and you're ready to go. And that could be a virtual machine, it could be a physical machine. So it's um, this separation of state, and I guess that is one place where Windows is kind of uh, limited today because all of the state of applications and user data and the system are all mingled together in the registry and file system in different stores. So separating all that out, getting our applications and separated and getting ISVs, uh, an easy way to separate their application state gets us to this world of really uh, portability of your data, portability of your state, portability of your code, uh, run it from the cloud, run it on different devices, and, and uh, that really dynamic data center is a piece of that of, of in the data center itself, a different model of that is you've got uh, hosted ser servers that are hosting services on behalf of customers, and those could be internal or external, and the workloads change over time. So you want to provision machines on the fly to catch up with workloads or decommission them as uh, the workload demands change. And so that same concept of just throwing down an image, throwing down the service on top of it and, and firing it up applies there as well. Do you think Microsoft needs to make desktop hardware or certain desktop slash server, you know, PC hardware? Do I think um, there, there's a lot of discussion about that um, and not just in the industry, but also within Microsoft, should we be developing uh, the, the Windows Notebook or the Windows Desktop? And my opinion is that that what's made Windows so successful is the fact that it's got an ecosystem with partners that are developing software and doing different things with uh, hardware and software. Uh, and for us to kind of block all that 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 uh, innovation, uh, I hate to use that word because it's so overloaded by marketing these days, but <laughs> to block out that playground that people have to do cool things for customers that we can't think of or don't have the agility to do, I think is not the 